Professor. Don't come. I was saying good and talk to some viewers, not you. Oh, sorry, my professor. Yeah. <clears throat> I am Professor von Gewarten Warten and this is my assistant Hans Gruppen. Hans, say good and talk to the viewers. Oh, sorry. Uh, hello, peoples. That is better. In this episode, we shall be looking at one of the most cunning of asphalts, yeah, the silent one, also called the silent but deadly, mm. and with good reason. This is the type of asphalt the people try to let out in public without anyone noticing. Hmm. Uh, the crowd very quickly get to experience this asphalt, not by the sound, but by the smell, which in many cases can be quite rank. It is an asphalt that the person who has dealt it can normally get away with if they keep their mouth shut. And perhaps keep their nose shut as well. Was that supposed to be a humorous remark, Hans? Yes, my professor. Then kindly keep your mouth shut as well. This is a serious subject. Now, before I get my assistant to demonstrate a silent asphalt, I will ask my colleague and good friend Heinrich Furzbender to advise us on when and where not to break the wind. Are you there, Heinrich? <coughs> Mmm, stinky. Ah, yeah, <coughs> yeah, Professor, I am here. Guten Tag. Uh, guten Tag. Now, Heinrich, please explain to the viewers when and where not to let rip with the ass part. Now, <coughs> some people view farting as a solitary occupation, while others see it as a social event. After all, what is the use of letting out a real snorter if you are the only one around to enjoy the exquisite pleasure of the retort? But we must look at this from the point of view who are offended at the vats of other people, or even their own body blasts. Yeah. There are a number of places and situations where it is best not to let rip. A lift is one obvious place. You and your fellow liftees are trapped in a small space with a pungent aroma assailing the nostrils. Now, some people think that farting in the office is not advised, in the same when visiting someone in their own home. When you are sharing a bed and a bath, it is seen as a big no-no. And you must never drop one when you are in the presence of someone important like your boss or a dignitary like Satan Mia, who it seems has still not forgiven me for doing so at his inaugural ceremony, although it was what we call a church fart. Very loud and very stinky. Quiet, you stupid truck. Thank you, Heinrich, for that insight. Ah, stinky. Ah, yeah, yeah, a pleasure as always. Danke. Now, Hans will produce a silent asphalt, but before he performs, tell me what have you eaten over the last 24 hours or so? Uh, 
Well, uh, I have been eating lots of uh, cabbage and uh, sprouts with some uh, fatty foods such as uh, the salmon and, and the cheese. Uh, good. Now, because of the nature of this asphalt, um, I will have to place uh, the microphone um, near to my assistant's bottom so that we can hear if there is any sound. Now, to facilitate this, I am going to wear these um, gloves which are um, uh, protective as it were, because my hands will be in close proximity with his anus when the artwork is evacuated. Now, hands, when you're ready, adopt the pose and proceed. You um, finished, Hans? Yeah. Uh, good, good. So, how did that feel? It was uh, relatively satisfying. Also, I did have to clench my bum cheeks a bit tighter to present to prevent anything solid coming out. Ah, so now the aroma has already started to reach my nostrils. Yes. It is um, one of rotting vegetation. Ah, there is ah, also, also a hint of sulfur. Mm. Uh, this is because the fatty foods slow down the digestion and fermentation process, so they produce more of the foul gases. Yeah. Very good, Hans. Now, this type of aspart is not just called the silent but deadly but also the ninja, and also the dog did it. If the person who laid it is clever and subtle enough, it is an asphalt which can be done in public without the author being identified. It is also one. Hans, have you just produced another? Yes, my professor. Oh, I congratulate you on that one. Now, Oh no, they are coming again. Quick, Hans, we must leave, we must leave. Go, come, 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 come. Hey, you... oh, what's that stink? Oh, that's disgusting. Look, out there, running into the car park. What's oh, that mad German who was expelled from here a few weeks ago? Dieter Muller. I bet he's up to his old tricks again. I'm reporting him for this. Oh, and open a window or two. <laughs> <laughs>